Hi guys, welcome to Gasi and Falls of Sakasi, and I'm your host, Christina Sidibelani. But you can call me Tina today, Mr. Diong. Rinali, Mr. Nguana. How are you, Mr.? I'm fine, thanks, Inyo. I'm great. Can you please tell us about yourself? Okay, well, my name is Malisela Nguana. I'm an author, I'm an editor of uh, mm-hmm. Exultant magazine. Uh, yeah, that's mm-hmm. basically me. Mm-hmm. Where do you come from originally? From Limpopo, from Mukopan. Mokopani. Yes, I'm from Mukopani. In his, uh, yeah, I'm from Mukopani in a small village called Marulani. So that's mm-hmm. where I, I am from. Okay, so uh, you were born there and then you came here? No, basically it, it is my, my mother's place there. My mother's place, I uh, used to live there. And then mm-hmm. her home is in Leiden next to that uh, Marulani. So, Utluhile, uh, Ukawatam? Yes, from. What was the reason you were born there? Uh, you know, the, the, uh, I, I cannot explain now, but it's kind of family issues. Oh, yeah, family, it's family issues. It's personal. Yeah, it's personal. So personal. We had to, m- to move from there to this yes. side because of other reasons. Okay, so was there any school local in Popo? No, 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 no. I was born Uzeni. there. Okay. Yeah, I was born there. And then okay. uh, I moved there from, uh, I think I was one year, six months or so. Yeah. One year, six months. You moved yes, to this to here. Yes. Okay, so after one year six months, you moved to here, and then was in a high school. Uh, from Lewinian Primary School, mm-hmm. and then I went to Tsebenta, and then mm-hmm. I went to uh, Ratsepo High School. Oh, I thought you would say my kids because I went. Ah no. And you were handsome, and then look, my kids knows and I thought you were handsome, blah. <laughs> so I thought that you were from there. I was like, okay, all right. So when did you move from Limpopo to Amaskral? Um, I think it was 1992 or 93. Oh. How's the relationship with your parents? Uh, it was good. It was good uh, with my parents, not parents. Mm-hmm. It was good with my, my mother. But now she passed away. Then, uh. Oh, may he so rest in peace. What about your father? Uh, you know, uh, I did not want to go there, but they, they separated uh, while I was like one year, six months. Yeah, oh. so they separated. Oh, when you moved and here. Then we have to move from that side with my mom only okay. to this side. Oh. So I've never seen him since then. Since then? Since then, yes. And how have you been? How have you been coping with no, that? No, like my mother used to raise us until I'm this old. So emotionally, you are okay? No, I'm just okay. Yeah. You don't feel that you need a father figure in your life? Ach, no, 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 no. Because my mother used to, to, to raise up to, to raise us in a in a good way. Everything mm-hmm. we needed. She made sure that we she provide for, for, for us. Oh, yeah. Okay. So she was a mother and also a, a father. father too. Yes, yes, you are. So right. you were complete no snagepi earlier. I wish you couldn't give it an intact. No, 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 no. Everything was, you okay? was well, I think, yeah. And then how, how do you feel, because you're a male, and then you, you grew up without a father. How do you feel with having a baby girl and the relationship between you and the, the, the baby girl? How do you feel about it? How do you, how, how do you think, how, how important it is to be a father to you? You know, sometimes yes, it is important to have both parents to, 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 raise, to, 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 to raise a child. Mm-hmm. As they say that it takes two to tango. So, yes. uh, with me, but I don't want my child to, to, to be raised by a single parent. I want my child mm-hmm. to be raised by both parents. Even if you guys separate? Um, well, you know, uh, yes, even if we separate, but then to, to be there to provide financially, to provide uh, like with anything that maybe she would need. So, Amabile, you are not sure. I'm saying... Is it important to, to for, for you to be a father, even if when I'm totally separated? Is it important? That's my question. Uh, yeah, it is important. You don't seem sure. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it, like, it is important. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is important. You know, <laughs> yeah, I think it is important. Are you sure? No, yes, I'm sure it is important. What kind of a father do you want to be? Uh, not the strict one, but okay. the one who who helps, like. Um, Financially and any other mm-hmm. uh, other things, yeah. But do you want to be a father? Do you know what I being a father, a father is? You are. Yes, I am. 
You you have a baby. Yes, have. And how's the relationship with the yes, baby? Good. Are you sure? Yes. What if you and the mother separate? No. How is not, it going to be? I did not think about a uh, separation. You d- Yes, I know you didn't think about it, but things happen yes, in life. Yes. We go through a lot, we go through challenges, we end up not knowing each other anymore. Yes. So, like sometimes the best option go separate. They're not that like a separation it doesn't have to be that thing but also we can still separate in the root one still have separate how important it is for you to be a father <laughs> it is important it is important even if you have separated but it is important to to be there just to be there to be around your your, your child mm-hmm. it is important okay yeah. as long as you are sure about being a father because i believe that Is it a baby girl or a boy? It's a, it's a girl. It's, it's a yes, girl. It's a girl. Please be a father. It's very important for us to have a, a male figure in our lives. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. I do understand, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so tell us about your school days. Anything that you remember? Fun things, terrible things that you, you know, did. My, my school days were, 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 was well. I was the, uh, this child who achieves uh, in school, like in Swana, mm-hmm. mathematics. Mm. Uh, yeah. So when I really crack away? Basically, so in primary school and middle schools, yeah. So what happened in high school? No, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get on really crack go yeah. primary and secondary. Yeah. High school, what happened? No, even though, you know, as you, you, you grow, as you, you, you are in a teenage um, stage, mm-hmm. things start to change here and there. You, oh, yeah. oh, so we let live at home or joy? No, not like that, 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 not like that. But then you, you face other things, you, 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 you realize uh, other things, you, you see. Things like what? Because being smart and life, you have to separate the, okay, no, you can't go to work, you can't go to work, you can't go to work. And then now you go to work, check it, check it, say, Lina, Rema, go to work. So what, what happened? No, you, you know, there, there are many things that you, you experience as a teen and then you grow, you, 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 you experience other things, you see. Things like what? <laughs> no, you experience other things and then they consume your time. Celine? No. What happened? Not really that. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? How about you, Celine, fell out of the room, I guess, and I go to the house. I mean, Lina for Naga John or Gaza Nagoya Gargivali, Rayamo Kuni. Besides that, there are other things. There are other things, like, like for what? example, um, you know, let's say, <laughs> let's say you, 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 you start to, to experience other things, ex- not uh, those ones only, but then you, you, you experience other things. Drinking? No. Like labor? No, no, no. There okay, are many okay. things that you experience as a teen. You don't experience. I, I want to things. know for when now. What is it that made you? No, I'm giving you the, 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 the general answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you I the general. I don't want a general answer. I'm not interviewing general. No. I'm interviewing you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you the general answer that <laughs> there are things that can consu- can consume your time. Not only dating, okay. but there are plenty yes. of things that can consume your time okay, as a teen. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. What consumed your time? Can we go to the next question, please? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the next question. <laughs> well, basically, yeah, but then uh, I did not, I did not like, um, uh, let me say this. I passed uh, average in average. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's still good. Yeah. That's still awesome. Are you single? No, I'm not single. You're not yeah. single. Are you married? No, I'm not married. Are you sure? Yeah. No, I say something. Are you planning on getting married? Huh? Are you planning on getting yeah. married? Yeah. Mm. I do pl- plan on getting married when time goes. Okay. Mm. After how many months? Uh, I don't know. You know, getting married needs... Um, you know, marriage uh, as its own. It needs uh, finances inside. Yeah. It needs... Yeah. It needs commitment. many things, yeah. yeah. Commitment yeah. is one of the other things, yeah. yeah. There are many things that involve... So you're, when are we missing a good right, isn't it? Yes. Only the time. But the person is there. The person is yeah. there? So the, the person gives the mother of your yes, baby? Yes, I think so. Oh, 
So you guys are still in love. Since I'm a little go Perry, ah, see? You can say wow. that. Wow. God. Usually after after banyana ban nalibana, ni? You guys change. Like totally. You become a totally different person. O ka re pile pile age show mara no this guy. No, me we na lead twin. This is not the guy I dated. So what happened, Gawena? No, you, you know sometimes it is not only men who change. The females mm-hmm. also change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you saying some of us is we, we changed? No, I'm saying I'm saying <laughs> that not uh, they are not no uh, let me say this. Uh, females do uh, females also change. Mm-hmm. Not only men change. Okay, yeah. So in your in in your situation mm. no one changed. I believe so. Oh, okay. And then how did you deal with the hormones and the mood no, you, you and the pregnancy? No, you change. Did you mean that the 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 the, the change how so the, the change in the relationship or the change of the, of the person physically or everything. Everything. No. By man, I meant uh, the relationship. Yes. Ne? Mm-hmm. Has no gima. Mm-hmm. Hey, Tom, I'm seven, eight, nine months. Yes. You change. Like, you change big time. My change is a normal one. I have to change. Once Lord, I'm really, really, really pregnant. Oh. Yeah. Your change is very abnormal. It's abnormal. It's serious. So, I wanted to know, her, in your case, who changed? No, like in most relationships, um, sometimes uh, it can be men who change, but sometimes it can be females who change in a mm-hmm. relationship per se. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in your case, no one changed? Uh, I can say that. All right. Congratulations on not changing. That's very, very, very unusual. So, 2013, you became a tota in Mudit L Middle School. Were you always a good teacher, though? I, I think so. I think I was. And what did you learn? No, like, you, you know, you, you teach people with a different mindset. Like, and, you know, kids are kids. Kids, uh, mm-hmm. they like to play. They like to do mm-hmm. other things. So, you, you as a teacher, you must come with a strategy of of teaching them mm-hmm. to make it simple for them to understand okay. yeah in that journey what did you learn i, I learned many things i learned many things so when i arrived there at muditela it's muditela not muditela it's mm-hmm. muditela middle school uh, i've introduced the, the organization for for uh, for people who want to who want to uh, continue the, the the what do you call the journey of of uh, let me say this. What can I say this? Uh, it was an organization for people who want to do dance, music, writing, mm-hmm. and those kind of arts. performing arts. Yes. So it was called Mukatwaswana. We had uh, people who were doing poetry. We mm-hmm. had people who were writing. I introduced mm-hmm. the, the, the newsletter there. Uh, it was called uh, DTM, Dikhao Tsamuditela there. I started mm-hmm. it there. And then, yeah, it was fun, you know. Mm. So from a teacher to a writer, an author, how, wha- when did you write, when did you start writing? I started writing way back before I went there to Twitter. Uh, okay. It was in, I think, 20, 2010. Right. I was studying writing. So to me, 2010. Yes. I started to write in 2010, and then I published my first book in 2014. What? Four years? Yes, four years to write my first drum. So you took four years? Yes, four years. So I'm not doing this anymore. No, you know, sometimes you, you have to look for jobs. So I went uh, to look for a job and then I went to look for a job and then I got a job uh, in Babele. I worked mm-hmm. from 20, yeah, 2010 mm-hmm. and then 2011. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I left there 2011, and then 2013. That's when I went to 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 Muditela. I started to to work at Muditela until 2015. 
Yes. All right. So Lorat Ola Lukadima. Yes. What inspired that book? You know, the book, uh, it was basically, uh, the book, oh, let me say this, the book mm-hmm. talks about the, the, the teenage relationships. You know the teenage relationships? Yeah, yeah. I've been there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you basically know what the book, it's, uh, the, way, the way I explain, I can yeah. see that you can relate to what the book says. The first step of dating. Yes, something like that. You know, the, oh. the drama inside. Yeah. Those things. The yeah. emotions. Yeah. And then sometimes they are the one that c- can consume your time. And then sometimes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so there, exactly. there, there are plenty of things. Mm-hmm. There are plenty of things, you know. And then you as a, a teenager, you don't realize that this, these things can cause uh, your career to, to, to be bad. You know, yeah, because uh, a female can become pregnant and then uh, at some point, you know. We both have been. Yeah. Mm. All right. So how, how's, how's writing for you? Like there's, for some people, ne? raping. Yes. It's them. Hey, Mary, who are you? I'm a person who raps. Mm. I speak. I, I, I eat. I smell, I drink rapping. Yes. For you, how's writing? How's the relationship between you and, and, and being an author? You know, writing, w- when you write, and then uh, when you write, normally y- you learn, you, you learn every day. You learn every day, and then writing goes hand in hand with reading. So you, you as a writer, you have to read more. You have to read more, and then do researches here and there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically that. All right, so how many books have you written so far? I've written... Uh, in fact, I've written... Let me say this. In my writing career, I've written uh, poetry. I've written the, the folklore. I've written drama. Yeah, basically those. So there are three. But then two three. are not published. One is published. When are you planning to publish those two? Ash. Uh, I'm not sure for now. I'm not so sure. You, Amabili, you wrote them, right? Yes. They are complete. No, they are not complete. Yeah, they are not complete. So are you going to take eight years to write those two? To publish those two or to write No, to write them. Because you took four years to write one. Yeah. And I'm asking myself, are you going to take eight years to write two? Because <laughs> I really don't understand writing. Oh. Do not... Bear with me there. I really don't understand writing. I write, I wrote, I call it a book. Ne? Yes. I wrote it for six months. And it was like this big. Mm-hmm. I wrote every single day and night. Like everything, I was, oh. everything, I was not writing something specific. No. I was just, so, that's my understanding of writing. So I don't understand how call something for four years. <laughs> you know, when you write something for a longer period, mm-hmm. it, uh, what can I say? You, when you write, when you do things for a longer period, it means that yeah. you, 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 you do many researches, in, mm-hmm. you do many researches, that means you will provide good quality book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you were. Listen, then we are pay. Listen, then we food. You mean the first one? Yeah, the first one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so those two, are you planning on publishing them or you're just writing them? They are more like the, the performing, performing art. They are more like performing, not like the. the, the, the not, not for, for only reading purposes, but they are more like performing art. Someone can perform them, yeah. So they are good for. For, for performing art. So are you still going to publish them or? I think uh, I, I will decide on that. You're not because sure? Because there are many things, there are many things that can consume time. So when I, even today, your time is being consumed. No, like, you know, you know when you, you, you grow old, you, you, you experience other things. You experience other things. Uh, now, uh, let me say this. A work can consume your time, you know. Th- mm-hmm. There are plenty of things that can consume your time. 
So are you saying your time is being consumed right now? But in a bit, in a good way. In yes, a good in a way. good way. Or not in a journal. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Okay. So why is it important uh, to read for you? Um, as I've said that when you read, you increase your knowledge. You increase your knowledge and then you learn here and there. Okay, yes. so reading is important to you. Yes, reading, reading is very, very important. What do you have because to say? Because if you don't have knowledge, then you, you are like nothing. What do you have to say about people who don't like reading? But they love books. I what, would rather so watch. Then w- what do they do with the books if they don't like reading? No, like there's, there's, there's a book, mm-hmm. a physical yes. book. Then I can just go to YouTube and then read the same book that you're reading. So, they would rather read a book. And then there are some people, they would rather watch the book on YouTube or internet or anything. So what do you have to say about people who do, who do not like reading? I think they must consider, they must consider it. Why, why is it so important? You know, as I've said, that you, 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 you increase your knowledge and other things. Yeah. Other things. You, you like saying other things. Other things like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, you like saying other if things. I can mention any, uh, any other thing that I'm talking about, then we're mm-hmm. going to be here for long hours. Okay, yeah. so say publishing was established, when and what does it entail? Oh, you mean say publishers? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, the company is called Say Publishers and Printings. Publishers. Yes, Say Publishers and Printings. Okay. So we publish books there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why say publishers? Why why say publishers? You know, say it's it's more like the uh, honorary weight for for mm-hmm. males. You know. For males. You yes, say say. So who we, are you honoring? No, like it's it's it's, it's an honorary <laughs> term for for yes, males. Yes, I yeah, understand yeah. that. But why why say who are you honoring? Which. What male are you honoring? Uh, myself. Oh, yeah, okay. myself. So, sir, is no. You. Basically, I got it from the where at Muritela where I was working. So, you know, oh, they from called the, you, yes, sir. So, so and how was that being called, sir? <laughs> Hi, ma'am. Hi, sir. Yeah. So they used to call me the uh, uh, sir, you know. So yeah, basically, I took that uh, title, mm-hmm. sir, and then I started. Uh, I added publishers and printing. So it's uh, mm-hmm. publishers and printings. Brilliant. So, are you still going to be a teacher? Like, is it in your bucket list? Uh, I think I will reconsider that again when time goes, but not anytime soon. But being a teacher, isn't an illegal bucket list? You still want to do it? Uh, uh, I can say yes. Mm. You're I can say sure. yes. I can say You're yes. You're not sure. <laughs> I can say yes. Are you sure? Yeah, but not anytime soon. Okay, even if it's, it's, it's after 10 years, but are you sure or what you are teaching? I might do that. Oh, you yes, might? Yes, I might. But you love it, ne? Yeah, I do love it. Okay. Can you sing? Can I? Sing. No, I cannot. No. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I'm just asking. Exultant Magazine, what is it all about? Exultant Magazine, mm-hmm. all right. Exultant means happy, means joy. Why did you use the word exultant and not happy? No, like happy, it was going to be an obvious thing, like happy magazine, you know. Oh, so, so I wanted to do something. Yeah, really? I wanted something like different, something challenging. Big. Yeah. Exactly. Challenging is very challenging yes. because I didn't know what exalted yes. means until my director told me, Hori, it out happy. And I'm like, happy. So this guy decided to choose the most difficult words on the dictionary. And then I have to ask my friend, my friend, who told me, we see, I want to move on, I want to make it in the exalted. Yes. And my friend will be like, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> I like saying, yo, Chumunan Magazine, no more, is a happy. Happy Magazine. As nice. 
you, you, ah, you know, happy is the, is the simplest place. You know, sometimes you don't have to to go to this thing, this um, what do you call it? the easiest thing, the easiest mm -hmm. things. You must so get something challenging. So you chose Exultant the most challenging magazine. words. But it rhymes, exalted. And magazine. it also, yeah, it does, yeah. and it it also shows who you are a writer. Yes. Because people who write. Because they use the most difficult words. Why is that though? Sometimes when you, as you have said that uh, writers uh, tend to, to choose, the, the people tend to say that they are difficult uh, words there. So, but sometimes, you know, it, it needs people, you encourage people to look for, 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 for information, to, to, to look for that word, yeah. Okay, so what inspires you in life? No, which is in general. You can answer me in general now. Yeah. What inspires you? There are many things that is inspire Give me. Give me that one thing that inspires you. That one thing. No, they are plain to you. Okay, give me three then. <sighs> what inspires me? I think what in inspires me is to see uh, the growing uh, trend of writers. That gives me an inspiration to continue writing yeah, every so day. So that's your inspiration yes, in life. Yes. And to the other thing I can say, um, the, the ability uh, to, 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 the ability to, 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 to go on the stream that I'm in now. I did not uh, like as as you uh, as we are talking that uh, uh, I'm a, a a writer or an author. So I'm I've been there since uh, I've started writing. So that my inspiration. I don't have to, I I don't need to like to take music or do other mm -hmm. things. So writing as it as it is it is inspire me because I look for 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 uh, let me. Um, what what can I say? I uh, I look for information. I research. So I I learn. I learn doing that. You know, okay. Yeah. Who's your best author? So um, the best author. Mm -hmm. I, uh, growing up, I used to 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 read more of uh, the Sitswana books. So my best author, I think, I think is Skepe Machila, Professor Skepe Machila. Ken, okay, no yeah. Of all times, kuri ubesha gaye na leva karunza buga no wa isuro irek. Yeah. Mm. You know, I used to read those kind of things. So, uh, yeah, yeah, no Professor Machila. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in the next coming five years? Uh, I want to see myself like. This company of Exultant, mm -hmm. uh, printing the magazine, because now we, we are doing it online. In five years' time, I want the magazine to be sold out there, uh, in the shops, mm -hmm. and wherever. All right, and then where do you see yourself in the next coming 20 years? 20 years? Mm -hmm. I want to see myself <laughs> opening up other businesses. I and helping business. youth like uh, now, opening Exultant magazine. It helps mm -hmm. um, to promote local businesses around. Uh, it, it promotes uh, artistic youth, yes. promotes uh, many other, other people. It promotes writers. There are people who are writing for, the, for Exultant magazine. So it promotes them, it promotes youth. So I want to open other businesses and making opportunity for the youth out there. Yeah. Great. You love education. You love reading. People who love reading, they love education. So what can you change about our education system? What is it that you say, that you can say, hey, you know, I hate this? Um, there are plenty that I can change. There are plenty that Please I... Please give me one. There are plenty that uh, I, I can change. Um, but... You know the, the 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 system now, like the 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 system, the the kids mm -hmm. have to 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 pass with thirty percent, those kind of. Mm -hmm. So I can uh, 
pick up the destination a little bit ka 40 ba phasa ka 40% or 50 why not 50 yeah that's that's good because i believe for 30 is like ho phasa ka 30 o phasit and then that's that's i believe for that's why re fit ka university is very hard for us to To That's why there, because, there are a lot of dropouts in varsity yeah, and colleges. Yeah, because yeah. of the 30% yes. ele ya kufatsi mm. ele. Mm. So you can be a president, ne? <laughs> Or what about minister of education? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But are you interested in those? No, I'm not interested in politics. Yeah. Okay. I understand it's understandable. All right. It was really nice having you. Where can we find you on social media? <sighs> on social media, yeah, Facebook page is Malisela Nkwana. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you can get me there. WhatsApp, you can get me there. What's up with the number? Okay, 073-372-8585. Repeat them. 073-372-8585. Facebook? Exultant. Oh, sorry. Facebook, Malisela Nkwana. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Twitter? I'm not there. Instagram. Eh bana, mugozi. No, no. <laughs> Only Facebook and and WhatsApp. Only Facebook and yes. WhatsApp. It was very nice having you Mr. Malisela. All right. Is it is it Malisela? Malisela yes. My, oh, I thought it was Malisela. Ah, no, okay. no. <laughs> it was really nice having you. It was nice. I like I love your thinking capacity. If that's English. All right, yeah, that's it. I love how you think and you look very handsome. Oh, thanks. Unfortunately, you're not. I, unfortunately, he's not single, guys. Yo, that's so bad for us. <laughs> hey, that's all. He's taken. He's a family man. Imagine this handsome guy, a family man. It was really nice having you, family man. All right, thanks. I, I, hope, I, I hope you have the, ble- the, the best family ever ever. And the best marriage. And then, oh, too much. No, I won't so, call you guys. Yeah. We said, 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 subscribe. This is Kasi Unfold Sakasi, where we unfold Sakasi talent. And I am your host, Christina Sidibrani. For me, Tina, I'm out. On social media, it's at Street Cornerian on Twitter, at Street Corner Visuals on Instagram, Street Corner Visuals on Facebook, also at Blackish Blue SA on Twitter, at Blackish Blue Media on Instagram, Blackish Blue Media also on Facebook, and Kasi and Fort Sakasi on Facebook, or email us on Street Corner 94 at gmail.com.